Okay, this is a not a hard assignment, okay? The table shows the sales of Target stores in the U.S. from the year 2010 to 2015. There's the years, there's the sales. It looks to me like they're going up. And I know it says millions, but that's fine. We're just going to use the numbers we're given. But those years, you need to rename them because we don't want to use actual years. So that's going to be the first year is zero. And then I take 2011 minus 2010, that's one. 2012 minus 2010 is 2, 3, 4, and 5. Okay? And that's the X, that's the Y. You need to label that. So write an equation of a line of best fit. Okay? I, know I don't want a graph. I don't even want to use a graph. So Y equals blank X plus blank. So I need to find the M and the B. Now for M, you're going to pick any points, okay? Any two points. As long as one goes, as long as, it, as long as the money is going up from one to the other. So I'll use this, what the heck, and this. Not everybody's going to get the same answer here. Okay, so the M is the Y minus Y, X minus X. That's the slope. Now, the y's are the bottom, so I need to take 35 minus 26. And then I take 3 minus 1. So it's going to be 9 over 2, and that's 4.5. Okay, so 4.5 goes here. Now, the b, you're like, well, y equals m times x plus b. Well, actually, no, I don't need to use that, and here's y. If I have a year zero, the Y that goes with that is my B, okay, 27. As long as I have year zero, it's like your beginning, so 27. So copy that equation, Y equals 4.5 times X plus 27. So what this means is it began at 27 million, and then we're adding 4.5 every year. Okay, predict the profit for Target stores in the year 2020. Now, again, you don't want an actual year. You need to take that first year, which was 2010, and minus it. Sorry. So minus 2010. I can't write here. And that's 10. 10 years. Years goes in for X. So we need to put 10 in for that. So 4.5 times 10 plus 27. So 4.5 times 10 plus 27, 72. Okay, now put a dollar sign there and please put million behind it because it wasn't $72, it was 72 million. I don't want to bring all those extra zeros into the problem, so if you just put million, you're good to go. Okay, next one. The table shows the total sales of men's clothing in the U.S. from 1997 to 2002. So I don't like these years. That's X, that's Y. Years is X, and then the money's Y. Zero, 1998 minus 1997 is 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Okay, so to write the equation, Y equals something times X plus something. Okay, looks like my sales um, are going not really any direction, any specific, because as you can see, they go up, then down, then up, then down, down. So I guess just pick any two, doesn't matter. I'll go with these two. Okay, so Y minus Y. If you're like, well, how do you know which ones to pick? It, you don't, know, okay? I Just pick two, okay? People are going to come up with different things for your M. So, remember, it's important we put the Y's on top, so 10.8 minus 10.6. And then the years, I take 3 minus 1. Okay? So that's going to be 0 0.2 over 2, and that's going to be 0 0.1. Okay? Now, B, normally I do this, but... 
I don't need to do that because I have a year zero, and the, the, the y that goes with it is a 10.1. So I know the beginning. It's 10.1. Okay, so y equals 0.1x plus 10.1. Here's what the equation means. We started off at $10.1 billion, and we're adding 0 0.1 billion every year. I don't know how many times that's added, so that's why you have the x there. I didn't give you a year here. That's my bad. Let's go 2020 again. I forgot the year. But again, I need to subtract my first year, 1997. So minus 1997, and that's 23. So I need to insert 23 in for X because it's years. Okay, and then you just plug that into the... Whenever you're solving for Y, you're just going to insert that in. So 0 0.1... 23 plus 10.1, 12.4, okay? Put a dollar sign because it's sales and then billion beside it. I don't want to add all those extra zeros, so yeah. Okay, next up. This shows the panda population in China. Now, the pandas are going down. They're an endangered species. So graph the data right a lot. So we're not going to graph it. Y equals blank X plus blank. So we're finding the slope and the Y intercept. Again, to find the slope or the M, that's Y minus Y divided by X minus X. So I pick, uh, by the way, these years, that's 0. 2011 minus 2010 is 1, 2, 3, 4, and five. Okay, so I'll pick any two points. Go with those. Now your x. These are your y's. The years the x. The pandas are the y's. So we go thirty nine minus twenty two, or twenty two minus thirty nine. It doesn't matter. Okay, if I put thirty nine minus twenty two, I have to do one minus three. That's a one minus three. So that's seventeen over negative 2. I divide that, it equals negative 8.5. Okay, and the B, the y intercept, I don't need a formula because I have a year 0 and the pandas that it began at is 37. So y equals negative 8.5 times x plus 37. That means we started with 37,000 pandas and we're going down by negative 8.5 every year. Okay. Now this is different. Zero pandas. Okay, That doesn't go in for X. X is years. It goes in for Y. So I scribble out the Y this time, put zero. So we box that up. Minus 37, minus 37. So I have negative 37 equals negative 8.5 times X. So negative 37 divided by negative 8.5 um that's going to be about four so four years all right is when they're going to become extinct so they'll become extinct in four years so if i keep going it'll be in year nine okay but four years is how many years from the end they become extinct Okay, next one. That's kind of a crappy problem that I wrote. Okay, table shows the broadcast stations in the U.S. 1996 to 2002. Remember, that's X, that's Y. That's 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So that's M, that's B. So to find the M, we use Y minus Y, X minus X. Okay. So I pick any two. We'll go with that one and that one. So 1.62 minus 1.56. And then while that's happening, the year is 3 minus 1. Okay. This is 0 0.06, and this is 2. 
So I divide that 0 0.03. And again, we know the B. You know the beginning is 1.55. Because if you know your zero, you know the beginning. You don't need to do any formulas or anything like that. Okay, approximate the number of T... Whoa, that doesn't make any sense. Approximate the number... Cross that out. And let's go with oh, 2025 this time. Okay. So that's a year, but we need to subtract the 1996. So I take 2025 minus 1996, and that's 29, 29 years. And it's a year, so it goes in for X. So I take 0 0.03 times 29 plus 1.55 gives me 2.42. Okay, it's in it's not dollars, it's stations, but it's in thousands. Okay, so thousand and label it stations. Okay, that's what I have to say on that. You have one problem.